Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Sung-yeok Kim, a PhD candidate from Yonsei University in Korea. Today, I will be talking about the discrete continuous transform matching for semantic flow. This is uh, joint work with uh, Chungnam National University and Microsoft Research. The semantic correspondence problem is to estimate the dense correspondences between semantically similar images, such as the, the wheels of the two different cars or the body parts of people or the animals. It is very fundamental and the important task for many computer vision and photometry applications, such as the non-parametric thin parsing or the semantic 3D construction. However, uh, unlike the conventional dense correspondence settings, such as the depth estimation or the optical flow, it uh, poses ch additional challenges, such as the photometric variation and geometric variation. The photometric variation uh, derived from the different imaging modality or the interclass appearance variation. Additionally, the geometric variation derived from the different viewpoint or baseline or the non-lazy -shape, non shape deformation. So recently, a number of methods have been proposed to serve the photometric and geometric variation. In terms of the photometric variation, a number of methods have been proposed by using the deep convolutional neural network, and they show the sex-specific performance deal with the photometric variation. However, in terms of the geometric variation, a number of methods have been also proposed, however, they provide a limited ability to deal with the severe geometric variation. Okay, let's think about the geometric variation in semantic correspondence. How large search space should we consider to estimate the semantic correspondence? In most methods, such as the optical flow, they just consider the two digit displacement field between two images. As you can see, they cannot address the geometric variation compactly. To, uh, to deal with the more complex geometric variations, such as the similarity transformation consisting of the 2D displacement, scale, or the rotation, some methods have been proposed like this. However, they consider only a set of quantized uh, scales to rotation as possible solution. In semantic correspondence, the only the deformation frequently exists among the semantically similar image, as you can see here. So the search space used in the trend, traditional approach do not capture the non deformation reliably. So the non deformation can be locally well by dense affine transformation field, as you can see here. So in this paper, we reformulate the dense correspondence estimation in semantic image. We reformulate the dense affine transformation for all pixels between semantic or similar image pair like this. Formally, the, we, our objective is to estimate the dense of fine transform p whole pixel like this of two by three matrix for each pixel. So the question is how to solve the, this discrete of fine transform field defined over the infinite and continuous solution space. To elaborate this problem, we formulate the energy function consisting of the data term to account for the matching evidence between feature descriptor and the smooth term to favor the similar affine transformation field among the adjoint pixels. Okay. So basically, our data term is designed to, uh, to aggregate the matching cost of descriptor between neighboring pixels and transformation pixels in a structural aware manner. Like this. Uh, in our smooth term, is designed to fit the affine transformation based on the a fine flow field of the neighboring pixels in a movingly secure manner. So the overall energy function of our method uh, as follows. It consists of the data term and smith term for the affine transform field. However, it's very non-convex optimization problem defines over the infinite continuous space. To solve this problem, the discrete optimization can be used such as the uh, graphical or the brief propagation. However, it's it is hard to describe the infinite continuous space, so the computer internally intractable. So another possible way to solve the, this energy function is the continuous optimization, such as the linearization of data term. However, it is also hard to linearize the non-convex data term in our method, so it often stops in local minima. So to solve this problem, uh, we use the penalty composition scheme to minimize uh, 
following auxiliary energy function. It consists of the discrete affine transform field and the continuous affine transform field to minimize the alternatively sharper discrete continuous transform field. Uh, specifically, we split the, our auxiliary energy function into the discrete local optimization problem with respect to T and the continuous global optimization problem with respect to L. We employ the alternative minimization to serve the discrete affine transform field T and the continuous affine transform field L in a synergistic manner. Okay, the, uh, first of all, to measure the matching similarity, we employ the apps DSD descriptor in this CBPR in this year. It formulates the local self similarity within a fully convolutional network. To provide the fine invariance of the net uh, descriptor, we propose the affine app DSD descriptor to transform the sampling pattern. Uh, per efficient computation scheme, we uh, we estimate the abstract descriptor by sharing the similarity network. In this uh, discrete optimization, we formulate uh, this problem as a filter-based labor optimization. First of all, we compute the matching cost by using the abstract descriptor and then aggregate the matching cost by using the efficient edge filtering. With, with the cost augmentation, the final discrete uh, fine transform field uh, determined in a possible solution. In the continuous optimization, we reformulate the continuous energy function into the affine field interpolation problem. Conventional moving risk solver cannot be used directly to solve this problem due to the high comprehensive complexity, so we decompose this energy function into the two separate energy functions with the x and y direction. Uh, uh, as you can see, this energy function, it can be served the effect efficiently large scale matrix server and EA filters. Finally, in an iterative framework, we, we, uh, we employ the pattern filter based iterative inference network in discrete and continuous optimization. Furthermore, we also employ the coarse pine iteration scheme. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, we can choose the convergence analysis of our DCTM method. Uh, this is the input image of search and target limit between semantically similar. By using the, our DCTM method as evolving the iteration, we can finally get the more reliable dense correspondence as evolving the iteration. Okay, in experimental result, we can see the dense, correspond dense semantic correspondence result comparing to the other method. As you can see, uh, input source and target image, source image can be warped to the target image by using the dense correspondence. Comparing to the, our DCTM method, uh, the state of the art, the other method cannot show the reliable performance. However, DCTM method can estimate the reliable dense correspondence under the normal deformation. In quantitative evaluation, our DCTM has shown the state of the art performance on all databases. In evaluation task, DCTM with the uh, Conventional descriptor such as the days and VGG network still shows the reliable performance. Finally, the, we will also show that the significance of the continuous regularization and coarse scheme in our DCTM method. In other databases that have the severe photometric and geometric variation, such as the uh, proposal Pascal benchmark, our DCTM still have shown the limit, uh, reliable performance compared to the conventional method. In other applications, such as the mask transfer, our DCTM uh, reliably transfer the source mask to the target mask. Finally, uh, in key point transformation application, our DCTM method successfully transferred the source key point to the target image like this. To summarize this paper, we propose the discrete continuous transform matching framework to estimate the dense affine transform field for semantic correspondence. We serve the discrete local labor optimization with a continuous global regularization in an iterative manner. In further work, this team could benefit the various applications such as the single image 3D construction or the instance level object segmentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. It's time for a quick question.
I have a question myself. <laughs> um, you use this uh, descriptor. Uh, to what extent is your method dependent on the descriptor? Can you plug in another uh, descriptor uh, easily? Pardon me? This FCSS yeah, descriptor. Yeah, yeah, right. So to what extent does your de method depend on this descriptor? Yeah, in this paper, uh, actually the initial version of the FCS descriptor cannot deal with the geometric variation. So in this paper, we want to uh, extend the FCS descriptor as varying the alpine transformation field in iteration. Yeah. And how many iterations do you need to converge? Uh, actually, in, in most cases, uh, in, it, uh, in, the, in each level, we, will, we need some two or three iteration for converging. And how long does it take? Uh, the whole algorithm takes about six, uh, six, uh, how about 20, 20, uh, 20 seconds for each image pair. 20 seconds? Yeah. You can see the uh, details in our paper. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.